Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we will be seeing an, one of the amazing model which is Nanonets and Nanonets OCR. So yeah, just go ahead and search for it. Let us see what it what this model actually does. So yeah, we have a official website nanonets.com and yeah, just go ahead and open it. So it is OCR model. So which uh, semantically understands uh, your text from the image so yeah basically it is a state of the art image to markdown ocr model that goes far beho beyond traditional text extraction so yeah let us understand what capabilities this uh, model uh, gives us so yeah here from the hugging face website you can just go ahead and download this model and uh, these are the key features it can extract the equation from the image itself as well as image description as well as signature it can also understand the signature as well as watermark so yeah you can understand how powerful it is so yeah let us uh, see how this uh, model actually works so yeah let us say we have this image and uh, these are the equations we have right so these equations basically what uh, it will give us like it will completely extract this image and it will completely understand what what is inside this image as well as it will give us complete output of the equations which are available in this uh, image so yeah let us have a look at some of the output we get so yeah let us have a look at this is the output we have got and completely these outputs are completely understandable and these are the exact outputs which have been understood by this model so yeah let us have a look at the signature uh, detection capabilities so yeah this is the signature of some business uh, yeah i don't and un actually understand it but let us see in the output what we will get so yeah let us say here exactly all the stuffs have been extracted perfectly issued date as well as and here is the signature as well signature has been already extracted really easily so yeah this model is literally amazing so yeah and also here you can see this watermark can be also uh, extracted and uh, yeah you can just go ahead and see in the output just go ahead and see the output and here it also says here is the watermark uh, which is paid so yeah this model is really amazing so yeah, I will just show you how we are going to use this model. So yeah, let us get started. We will be using uh, these images only for our OCR implementation in our uh, project. So yeah, I will just uh, save these uh, images in the in my Nanonets folder. I have already cre created over here. Let me find it. Okay, yeah. So here we got it, and in the images folder. I will just give it image one then uh, we have uh, another image maybe yeah so here uh, it will just go ahead and extract uh, the watermark uh, and basically we will be using yeah okay uh, yeah so let us just use the signature image signature detection how this will probably work so yeah, now that we have all the images which uh, we need to perform the OCR, uh, I have just uh, downloaded the two images. You can just use whatever uh, according to your use cases. I will just show you simple how we are going to do all the OCR, uh, all the extraction from the image basically. So yeah, uh, I will just go walk through through the code and uh, we will see how this will done. So yeah, we are going to just uh, import all the necessary libraries. We are uh, using Azure OpenAI and uh, .env to load all the .env variables. And uh, here I have uh, used Azure Chat, Azure OpenAI, and basically I have provided all the parameters like API key, API uh, endpoint, as well as deployment and version name. Uh, yeah, and all of the things are saved in the .env file and after that we are going to initialize with the model uh, name and yeah, this is the model name and uh, yeah, for this uh, you can find it over a uh, hugging face uh, library. 
over here you can just go ahead and uh, copy this uh, repo id and yeah you can just use it this is the model card which is available so yeah let us get back and here we are going to use the encode image function so yeah what it will basically does is it will just uh, open the image and it will just uh, return a object in the base 64 so yeah that's it and here we are going to create another function uh, to create a ocr with uh, gpt 4o uh, so basically we are using azure model for this but uh, yeah so here we are going to give the prompt like this and uh, here in the response we are we have created the response object uh, with the client.chat.completions and uh, in the model basically we are going to give this model so yeah this model we are going to pass in when the we are going to create a response object so yeah when this has been done then we are going to return the whatever the content we have got in the response and yeah that's it and uh, here we uh, have created the image path as well as we will be converting this first in the base 64 encoding and then we will be uh, sh showing the result back so yeah let us go ahead and uh, here you can just go ahead and give the path actually so let us try this signature one first so yeah i will just copy relative path and paste it over here okay uh, yes so yeah just go ahead and run it now so you just have to go ahead and write python main.py and yeah it will take a little bit time but yeah it will work really well so yeah let us uh, so now we have got uh, this answer back so yeah let us see how this has been done so all the things which has been extracted are perfectly fine uh, and uh, this is the extracted text which we will be seeing in here as well as uh, where is the signature issued by signature so yeah here uh, and it the ish signature is an image and it will also give the description of the image also so yeah a handwritten signature is displayed so all these stuffs which we have seen already so all those uh, OCR why OCR is really important so let us say you are doing a rag uh, you are performing a rag on some document and your uh, your PDF or your document are containing some of the images which contains uh, different different tables as well as images so all the your rag or your uh, model which uh, llm model basically it won't understand the meaning of that images and hence it won't create the good embeddings for it so yeah for this purpose we will be needing such libraries such as nano nano nets to perform ocr perfectly and this will help you understand better and it will give our model our llm model a better understanding of how the information is settled down in our system in our documents so yeah this is really important and uh, yeah if you want video on uh, how we are going to integrate this ocr model with the uh, rag implementation so yeah just comment down i will provide you with a complete disc video on it so yeah thank you and i will see you in the next video